Pretty much packed up here, uh, just getting ready to take off to Sea Otter. Uh, it's about 10 p.m. here in Vancouver, so we'll be getting there in about 16 hours, I guess. So, uh, see you there. Well, Andrew Cho picked me up at the border and we're basically just getting ready to road trip it down to Sea Otter and have a good time. So we just met some pretty nice ladies who were looking for some trashy bar in Surrey uh, and or Cloverdale, whatever. And uh, we have all our gear packed up and we're about to hit the road into America Town. I'm not tired. I'm not tired at all. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not tired. So. So, Andrew, tell us a little bit about where we are. We are um, about an hour and a half north of Oregon. And uh, it's 3.01 in the a.m. on April 16th. And, uh, we're still driving, and uh, we have, have we even made it out of Washington State yet? Believe it or not, we're still stuck in Washington State. It's a really big state. Never knew how big it was until now. Where are we? Where, where are we? I don't even know. This is Oregon. Now there's something on my shoe. I don't even know where we are right now. We're in the middle of uh... Oh, you know where we are. We're at a dirty truck stop in the middle of the USA. We are in the middle of a dirty truck stop in the USA. And uh, it is, uh, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It just happens to be 5.40 in the morning. And uh, we're gonna take a little nap. So we're signing off on day one. Last night we slept for about three and a half, four hours in uh, a truck stop. Uh, I don't know where it was. Uh, it was a really busy truck stop. It was super loud while I was trying to sleep. And uh, kind of cold too, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, now we're in Corvallis, Oregon. And uh, we're waiting for Applebee's to open because it opens at 11 and apparently it's like 10.48 or something ridiculous like that. So uh, we just want to get our breakfast on and then head on down to Sea Otter or go check out the coast or something. Anyway, I'm really hungry. We're really hungry. And you know what? We just wanted to get some home cooked style food. We passed a bunch of nice cafes. And you know what? We passed them. And now we're in some stupid mall parking lot where people are shopping for like their Tuesday morning meal. and. I just don't understand why we're here and it's hurting me every second that we are here and I honestly think that my internals may start bleeding if I don't eat something soon. I am so serious, it hurts. We're here, Applebee's, getting some grub. Not quite breakfast, but it looks like it's going to be tasty and uh, everyone here is really friendly. We met, was it Jeff? Who, uh, Seth. No, Jeff. And Dan. Dan? Seth and Dan. Oh, Dan. Dan who was looking for Canadian onions, whatever that meant. Pickled onions. Pickled Canadian onions. And uh, Seth seemed pretty cool. He knows some people who live around Sea Otter, so seemed pretty legit. And uh, our waitress, Brittany, is fantastic. She's attentive and is bringing me food, which is everything you want in a woman. So we're here at Taco Bell. Uh, it's our first dinner here in the United States of America. Um, Dylan seems to have uh, left a little bit of his dinner undigested. What happened? Mm, ate so much. Big box. Taco Bell. I basically put a liquefied cow inside a box of food and sell it to you for six dollars and we're trying to eat healthy so that's what we stopped here at Taco Bell 
I honestly do feel like throwing up there right now. <laughs> what? I feel good. <laughs> I didn't feel right.